Good morning from St Mark's. Welcome to Good Shepherd Sunday. The Lord be with you and also with you. Our sentence for today, the lamb in the midst of the throne will be their shepherd and will guide them to springs of the water of life and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Let us pray. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. Jesus said, This is the great and first commandment, and a second is like it. You shall love your neighbour as yourself. Christ our Passover lamb has been offered for us, therefore we come to celebrate the festival. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith with a sincere 
and a true heart. Merciful God, our Maker and our Judge, we have sinned against you in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. We repent and are sorry for all our sins. Father, forgive us. Strengthen us to love and obey you in newness of life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who has promised forgiveness to all who turn to God in faith, pardoned you and set you free from all your sin, strengthened you in all goodness and keep you in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and peace to God's people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let's pray. Gracious God, you sent Jesus, the Good Shepherd, to gather us together. May we not wander from his flock, but follow wherever he leads, listening for his voice and staying near him until we are safely in your fold to live with you forever. Through Jesus, Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. A reading from Acts chapter 9, beginning at verse 36. In Joppa, there was a disciple named Tabitha. In Greek, her name is Dorcas. She was always doing good and helping the poor. About that time, she became sick and died and her body was washed and placed in an upstairs room. Lydia was near Joppa. So when the disciples heard that Peter was in Lydia, they sent two men to him and urged him, Please come at once. Peter went with them, and when he arrived he was taken upstairs to the room. All the widows stood around him, crying and showing him the robes and other clothing that Dorcas had made while she was still with them. Peter sent them out of the room. Then he got down on his knees and prayed. Turning towards the dead woman, he said, Tabitha, get up. She opened her eyes, and seeing Peter, she sat up. He took her by the hand and helped her to her feet. Then he called for the believers, especially the widows, and presented her to them alive. This became known all over Joppa, and many people believed in the Lord. Peter stayed in Joppa for some time with the tanner named Simon. Hear the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you, and also with you. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Ch John chapter 10 beginning at verse 22. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. At that time, the festival of the dedication took place in Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus was walking in the temple in the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered round him and said to him, How long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I have told you, and you do not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name testify to me, but you do not believe, because you do not belong to my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they will never perish. 
No one will snatch them out of my hand. What my Father has given me is greater than all else and no one can snatch it out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. This is the Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, a few weeks after Easter, is Good Shepherd Sunday. Uh, The readings on this Sunday always come from John chapter 10 where Jesus describes himself as the Good Shepherd, caring for the sheep, his followers, that would be us, and leading us and giving us eternal life. In the way John's Gospel talks about Jesus, it's very much Jesus describing himself as the meeting of heaven and earth. He is the life that comes from above. He is the man who was with God before all time, Before Abraham and Moses were, he was. He's the bread of life. He's the one come from heaven to earth. That could be a hard, cruel, I'm here, bow down and worship me kind of picture of God. But this picture of Jesus as the good shepherd makes Jesus in John's gospel pastoral. Because Jesus is the good shepherd, we're the sheep. That speaks of a caring relationship where he knows us, where we can learn to know him, where we can grow in friendship with him and we can expect to be liked and trusted by him the way a shepherd with a small group of sheep would know them and they would know him and be defended by him. In the end, the good shepherd laid down his life so that the sheep might have abundant life. John 10, if you want to read it, talks about Jesus the good shepherd in different ways. Early in the chapter, it's about the promise of abundant life that he gives to his sheep. In the middle of the chapter, it's about how he has other sheep that he's going to bring in. So the lost sheep aren't just the house of Israel, but the Gentiles, you and me. And in this bit that we just read a moment ago, thanks Ian for that, uh, in this bit, it's about the shepherds care for the sheep under pressure. Jesus in this gospel passage, the bit that we just read, uh, is being stalked by enemies. People initially claim that he's not clear about who he is, even though he has been very clear. They say he's not clear as a way of trying to make him do it again, and I think to get a gotcha on him. So he says, I'm the good shepherd. I give eternal life to my sheep. My sheep learn to recognize my voice. I hang on to everybody, I and the Father are one. With them circling around trying to do a gotcha, uh, he makes this promise to his followers that he will never let them go. No one can snatch one of his sheep from his hands. No one can take one of his followers away from him. Not their own sin and failure, not the criticism of others, not the poor choices and the world going to heck in a handbasket. Nothing can take a follower of Jesus from security in his grasp. And the reaction to that by the critics who are circling is that they think they've got their gotcha. Instead of hearing he's come from God and he's going to love and care for the gentle little ones, his followers, they hear he claims he's come from God, we've got him on blasphemy. There aren't many quiet spaces in life when we can just sit down, reflect on our faith and say this is who we are, this is who God is and all is well. Mostly life is about the challenge, the run of play and pressure. Like in this passage where the critics are stalking Jesus, attempting to get him. In our life, do you ever think Where is God? Things going badly? Where is God? Ukraine? My own failings, uncertainties? Where is God? Things going really well? My gardening, my hobbies, my life? Where is God? The Good Shepherd passage gives us some clues about how to answer the question where and who is God and what does God ask of us and promise to us. It doesn't answer the question about all circumstances but tells us what to do to find where is God. 
Firstly, learn to recognise the voice of Jesus, the Good Shepherd. In the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, we have Jesus' interaction with other people and the things that he said to them are the things that he says to us. Reflect on the teachings of Jesus, the voice of Jesus. Obey the voice of Jesus, discuss it with your friends. The three things of listen, reflect, do and share with others. That cycle of things to do is how we digest the voice of Jesus from the Gospels. The first thing to do to answer the question, where is God, is to learn to recognise the voice of the Good Shepherd. The second thing is to be willing to repent of my sins, of my avoidance of Christian community and of my reluctance to engage in Christian mission. Be willing to repent and be who God the Good Shepherd, Jesus the Good Shepherd calls us to do and be. The third thing to do is to look for good examples. Our church here in the parish of Logan, the Church of the Good Shepherd, are full of good examples of faithful Christians who have, through life's trials, hung on to the goodness of God. Through death, through loss, through illness, these people have continued to trust in the goodness of God. Reflect on good examples and look at what other Christians have done and where they've heard the voice of the Good Shepherd and seen God at work. Our Church of the Good Shepherd, great examples. And the fourth thing to do is to accept that it's never going to be easy. If they came for Jesus, they'll come for you. The cost of following him is sometimes high. The choices we have to make are sometimes ambiguous. Next week is the National Synod of our church in Australia and uh, the choices we make will sometimes be ambiguous and there are competing voices. Accept that it's always going to be hard to follow God and sometimes uncertain to discern what the voice of the Good Shepherd is. And fifthly, to remember his promise back in the passage we listened to, that he will never let his sheep go. You and I are securely held by the scruff of the neck by a God who loves us, who knows us better than we know ourselves, and who will never let us go. Jesus is the Good Shepherd. We're his sheep. He knows us, he loves us, he invites us to know and love him in this adventure, the Christian life together. Amen. Ubutumwa bwiza tubusanga muri Yohana Mweranda, ikigabo cyo cyicumi umurongo wa 220 bugushikana ku 28. Ababa intama zanje bumvijwe iryanje nanje ndabazi nabo barankurikira kandi nanje mbaho ubugingo budashira ntaho bazo kwigera bapfa rubi gushitsa ibihe bidashira kandi nta ushobora kubanshikura mu kuboko kwanje Yesu ameze nk'umungere mwiza uzi ntama zose zo mu busho bwiwe mwizina umungere ayobora ubusho bwiwe kumfungugwa no kuzicungerera umutekano iyo ubusho bubangamiwe araburengera intama ziga kumenya ijwi ry'umwungere no kumukurikira ibi bisigura isano dufitanye na Yesu nkaba Kristo twiga kumva ijwi rya Yesu no kumukurikira yadusezeranije kutazigera dutererana kandi ko atazigera yemera ko hagira ikintu kidutwara kimwe mukiraje shinga umukristo no kugira imigenderanire myiza na Yesu nimba twarakuriye mu rugo rwa Gikristo canke mu muryango wa Bakristo dushobora kubona kubona karanga muntu yacu ya Gikristo mu kubumwe mu bagize uwo muryango canke muri kominote ariko dukeneye kubanza kwiga twebwe ubwacu kugira ngo tugire ukwizigira kwacu kuvuye muri Kristo Yesu ivyo tuzobikora twumva amajambo ya Yesu amajambo ya Yesu ari muri injiri ya Matayo Mariko Luka na Yohana tugomba kubisoma no kumva amajambo ya Yesu yabwiye abantu yahuye nabo ico gihe iyo dusomye tubaza ico yashaka kuvuga tubaza ico atubarira dusangira ibyo twumva nabandi kandi dukora ivyavuga 
Noneho nk’intama nziza dushobora kwizigira Yesu umwungere mwiza kuri twebwe ubwacu Amina. Let us together affirm the faith of the Church. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is, seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from, from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who, with the Father and the Son, is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. I don't know if you like to think of yourself as a sheep of the shepherd's flock, but that's what we are. We are the body of Christ. His spirit is with us. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Peace with you.
in the face of all calamity, present and yet to come. Let me lead my neighbour beside quiet waters, the quiet waters of the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. You are the Lord of the Church. Hear our prayers for the world, the Church and those in need and make us one in heart and mind to serve you with joy forever. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Good Shepherd, we pray for Australia's federal election, candidates standing for election and citizens voting, and the common desire to overcome hunger, thirst, homelessness, natural disasters and COVID-19. We pray for your children in the Ukraine as the war wages on. More than three million people have fled from the country. We think of Poland and Bulgaria as Russian officials have cut off their gas shipments. We pray for your children in the Sudan. We pray for your children in Ethiopia, where the worshippers were killed during an ambush. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Help us to hear and respond when you say, follow me. Help us to be good shepherds in our lives and be a true reflection of you and your church. We pray for all our Christian sisters and brothers worshipping around the world in small rural churches, great city cathedrals and on the internet. Give us here in our parish of St Mark's and Good Shepherd a sense of hope as we come and inspiration as we go. Bless our priests, deacons and all clergy whose preaching and teaching inspires us with the message of your salvation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Good Shepherd, we pray for mothers with the right to respect in their families, opportunities to grow in holiness, protection from all forms of violence and help in time of sickness and distress. Good and gentle shepherd, we pray in gratitude for our mothers and for all the women who have joined with you in the wonder of bringing forth new life. Grant to all mothers the courage they need to face the uncertain future that life with children always brings. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Good shepherd, we pray for all who are weak, who are ill, who cannot cope on their own, and those known to us in particular need or trouble who ask for our prayers. We now pray in silence for those on our prayer list. Deepen our love for our neighbours, especially those who are weak. Help us to console the sorrowful and give hope to the dying. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Lord, we pray now for those who have recently died. Give to the departed the perfect joy of your eternal love and to those bereaved by their passing the consolation of your perfect love. We thank God for the life and witness of John Hawkins, Russell Webster, Janet Sampson, Hester Moffat, Margaret Bull, Ken Morgan, Trevor Webb, Charles Andrews and Mark Smith. We remember our loved ones and others known to us whose anniversary of death occurs at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, you have promised to hear our prayers. Grant that what we fast in faith, we may by your grace receive through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amasengesho yo mu Kirundi yo kuri uyu munsi w'Imana igenekerezo y'umunani z'ukwezi kwa gatanu mwaka 2022 abereye ku ishengero ya Mariko Mweranda muri Anglicane muri Australia. Manugira neza mana y'icubahiro amashimwe abayawe icubahiro kibicawe urabikwiye mwami 
tugushimiye wewe wemeye yuko dusubira kwa samira kanwa kacu ngo tuguhamagare mwami tugushimiye usubiye kutugirira neza ukatwereka umunsi mwiza nk'uyu mana yacu kuko turazi neza yuko ari ubuntu bwawe tugirira ari mbabazi tugirira mwami turagushima yuko ego me waduhaye ijambo ryawe ukatubwira yuko dukwihugusenga mwami mana turazi yuko abagusenga bose bikije bugufi wama witeguye kubishura mwami none uno musi tusubiye tuguhamagare mwami tugusabe ngo ego gwo wese ariko ari umvirize ya masengesho mwami umugirire neza utugirire neza utwishure mwami amavi yose afukamye mu izina rya Yesu Kristo ndakwinginze ngo mana yacu utwishure turagushima kuri ya mana rero udahinduka turagushima kuko ari urejo nuno musi ari kuri uko wakiza nuno musi ni kukiza uko wagendera abantu bawe mwami nuno musi ni kuba gendera uko mwami mana ukunda wadukunze mwami nuko nuko nuno musi ubana yo dukunda mwami ibitangaza biracakoreka mwami ego mwami turagushima kandi yuko watumye mwami wo umwana wawe Yesu Kristo akemera kaza akikorera umuga bwacu akikorera imitwaro yacu akikorera indwara zacu mwami kugira ngo umwizera wese mwami kaza perubi ariko azahabwa ubugingo budashira turagushima ibyo byose wakoze gushaka kwawe mwami nubuntu washatse ko tubamwo nimbabazi washatse kutugirira mwami none mwami ndakwinginze ngo nituwe abahombe mwami turazi neza ibitangaza nuno munsi uracabikora mwami turazi turibuka mwami jambo ryawe yumu byakozwe n'intumwa mwami aho wakoresheje igitangaza petero egome akashobora kuzura umwigisha tabi umwigishwa tabita mwami agasubira kuba muzima akamufata kuboko mwami akavyuka akavuga ati tabita vyuka mana yacu araheza ravyuka mwami ndetse abari bari kubararira mwami baranezegwa mwami turagushima mwami mana yuko egome wagiye kudutegurira ibyicaro mwami ijambo rya uratubwira ngende yohani yeretswe egome abo mwijuru mwami ngo baririmba banezerewe bamba impuzu zera egome bacunguwe namaraso ya wa mwagaze w'intama mwana wawe Yesu Kristo mwami bahanaguwe egome amosozi aho batage babakirira ariko kwa rukuririmba gusa mwami ibyo byose mwami turazi ko natwe ibyo twiteze mwami turazi natwa kwizera mwami ibyo natwe tusobiramwo wagiye kudutegurira ibyicaro mwami Yesu kugira ngo huzoba ariho tuzoba turi azoba munezero tutazoshira mwami otso kwa maturi riba tugushima none utugirire neza mwami twiteze egome ubu twiteze ukuza kwawe mwami turi ndiri ukuza kwawe mwami uduhu kwihangana ku jambo yatubwira ngo uwihangana agashitsa kwiherezo ni wazokira none uduhe kwa matwihanganye mwami uturinde ibyaha uturinde ibyago uturinde satani mwami yamagenda genda mwami arondera barotsa biraboneka mwami imana yuko isi ibu ntambara isi ibyago isa isi ibyaha mwami ariko mwami imana turazi ko abatoranijwe barimwo none imana yacu turakwingize ngo usuko umuvyuro kuri isi abantu bawe bihane bakwakire mwami Yesu kugira batahure ko ari we mana batahure mwami ko tabundi buhungiro batahure ko tayindi nzira n'ukuri n'ubugingo atari we mwami Yesu mana turakwinginga utugirire neza none rero mana yacu dusengire nishengero ryawe mana egome ahuseru heza gire mwami tu dusuke mu muvyuro mwami abantu bawe bahembuke mwami abantu bawe batahure bakumenye mwami bamenye neza yuko atayi n'insinzi bazoronka mwami insinzi bazoyironka bivuye kuri wewe mana yacu urakoze mwami utugirire neza uwo wese mwami mana gwaye umukize uwo wese arushe umugirire neza mwami uwo wese mwami abari ngwara yo mu mutwe uwo wese yihebuye mwami ijambo rya tubwira ngo ntitwihebure ntitwiganyire kuko uri kumwe natwe mwami turazi uri kumwe natwe kugeza ku muhero w'isi none uduheza gire wamane natwe mwami mata mahoro yawe arutwa nuko yominwa nuwari wese 
arushirize kushiba mire mitima yacu urakoze kuri imano dukunda uduhe kubandanya urugendo twihanganye mwami uduhe kubandanya mwami mana twihanganye bitugerageza kugira ngo tuze dushiki wa mahoro mana urakoze kudukunda ibisigaye mwami tukuragije ubugingo bwacu tukuragije imitima yacu mwami mbere tukuragije n'imibiri yacu nayo mwami turazi ko satani na wagenda tugerageza ariko mu izina rya Yesu tuzonesha kuko nawe wanesheje urakoze ubikore nk'ugoma nk'uko y'Imana mu izina rya Yesu Kristo umucunguzi wacu amen as our savior has taught us we are confident to pray our father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven give us today our daily bread forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever amen well thank you for joining us in our worship there are a few things to talk about that are happening in the life of the church here that uh, if you're remote from us, you won't be able to join in, but it's good for you to know uh, what's happening here. We've got a working bee coming up next weekend. Uh, some tidying up in the garden bed out the back next to the labyrinth. If you're able to get here any time on your own, you're very welcome to spend time in the labyrinth enjoying the quiet uh, in the space here at St Mark's. The week after that, two weeks after that, sorry, the 28th of May, Mother's Union have a breakfast on Saturday morning. Bacon, eggs, fundraising for Mother's Union, good time of fellowship with people from our, our different congregations. Again, uh, if you're able to make it here, you'll be welcome to join us in that. We do need an RSVP though, so office at logananglican.com.au to tell us you're coming. And lastly, I'd like to draw your attention to Anglican Focus. Anglican Focus is the online magazine of the Anglican Diocese of Brisbane and the URL, which will appear on whichever side of me it is, I never remember. Uh, the URL is uh, anglicanfocus.org.au and articles about all sorts of cool stuff happening around the diocese. Thanks for joining us. I look forward to seeing you again next week. The God of peace who brought again from the dead, our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work, 
working in you what is pleasing in God's sight. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. In the name, name of Christ, Christ. alleluia, alleluia. a fence up and I'll put green green artificial grass down and there was two lengths to do first one yep no worries cut it cut it no cut it a meter short <laughs> so it's now got to join <laughs>